uh, today is Memorial Day, um, and before I go any further, I want to say uh, thank you to all the troops uh, and stuff all around the world. And um, I really appreciate and honor the, the sacrifice that y'all make for the country uh, that you put on the uniform. I feel like that on Veterans Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, and every day of the year. Uh, I just want to express that I am against abortion for intellectual reasons, and I wish to offer my voice for the unborn. My opposition to abortion is not based on a religious or political value, nor is it based strictly on a personal event. I want to say first that I sympathize with the female who has considered abortion, but hope you don't do it seek more advices and look at other alternatives. I am also sensitive to women's issues. I ask that you be more mindful of the sentiment and less mindful of the fact that I'm being judgmental. My heart goes out to any woman who has been raped, molested, or a victim of incest. We also must learn for what reasons is a woman driven to conduct an abortion. Is it due to finances, personal freedom, no help from the other parent, or soulless apathy? I've listened to various arguments in support of or against abortion, and now I will opine the following. Abortion to me is unacceptable. It is infanticide. Abortion should not be used as a method of birth control. I believe that life begins upon conception. Abortion does stop a beating heart. The manner in which precious babies are aborted is barbaric. When a person says that it is the woman's body, as if there was no child being carried by her, I strongly disagree. People can say what they want about capital punishment and right to life, or I should say right to die, but when it comes to abortion, the unborn child has no voice. The unborn child did not create himself or herself. I believe that an unplanned pregnancy is usually prevented with an ounce of personal responsibility. If money is the reason a woman wants to get an abortion, I wish that I could personally finance you so that you could keep the baby, though I cannot. Uh, just don't have the money. However, there are organizations whose purpose is to assist pregnant women in a crisis. They may have limited resources, but it is a start. There are also couples and single persons out there who are unable to conceive or want to adopt a child. I wish there were a surrogate mother for every unborn child when the natural mother wants to abort. Some women get abortions for the wrongest reasons, like because they can or as a matter of protest. I beg that a moral compass be used to prevent that. I think of all the people in my life who I might not have known had their mother decided to abort. Likewise, I think of all the persons whom I will never meet because they were not born. I do not wish to instill any guilt because that is counterproductive. And I'm just now learning how to use uh, Windows Movie Maker, so I'm just going to verbalize some hotlines that I saw online. It's just a couple, actually, because I got a slow Internet connection. Uh, but a few uh, hotlines for alternatives, you know, uh, so that you would really think about not aborting is 1-800-430-4444. Uh, and it's called the Adoption Center. Uh, another one is 800-848-LOVE, L-O-V-E, and the organization is called Real Alternatives. Uh, I don't endorse any specific hotline or website, nor have I called or intend to call uh, them because 
that's just not what I'm going to do. But uh, thank you for listening. And the most important thing you can really do is, uh, I guess, first of all, have the responsibility to prevent an unwanted pregnancy. And secondly, if that occurs, uh, to do research, 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 and talk to people. Because there are people out there who care. Thank you for listening again.